We're back with Damon Vickers, Chief Investment Officer, Nine Points Capital Partners, staying with us live out of uh, Seattle, uh, Washington. Uh, Damon, you guys are uh, a hedge fund, and what you guys basically do is uh, you try and catch breaks either to the up or downside. Uh, apparently, with oil, also with gold, you've uh, done the timing pretty right, God, and just as it started to uh, oil up past 75, gold past uh, 1,000, are you going to sit on those positions then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's this is this is you know this is I mean you can think a lot about it and you can you know you know you know one day and and you know have all these vacillations psychologically, but you know this is the time to you know to play ping pong to you know uh, pick up a, you know get involved in model making or or uh, or something ridiculous. I mean it, it, this is the time where you make money where the trend develops. And so there's really not a lot to do with it. I mean, oil looks higher, gold looks higher, currencies look weaker, all for the reasons that we talked about before. I mean, you've got huge wage disparities. I don't know how that inevitably resolves itself. Um, it may resolve itself in some type of a, of a global currency crisis. And then if the global currency crisis unfolds, then inevitably you get, uh, I guess, an alignment under a, a global world government. Uh, a new global currency um, and a new world order. Uh, so we may be moving towards that. Mm, talk to us a little bit more about this uh, currency crisis you see uh, erupting. What does that assume about what's going to happen to the dollar? Well, it, it assumes that the dollar will utterly get destroyed and become <laughs> virtually yeah. worthless. You know, we have a, a combined. Well, I mean, here, here's what we know. We know that that, that if if you can produce something that this this <laughs> this game that we have going on in the United States and on a planetary basis cannot perpetuate itself forever. We've got a 65 trillion dollar negative net worth. We cannot possibly meet with our health care costs and our, our, you know, our indulgent society, which, which we'd have in the United States. We can't put that against the, labor, the unit labor cost of a China that can produce something at a dollar an hour versus $24 an hour with health benefits and you know, all, the, all that that's built into there. So how does that inevitably resolve itself? Well,